Sorry to break it to you, Sir Cisro, but you're annoying. Plus, you got monies on you, and armor that I can sell for a decent amount of monies. Take it just to see if uh, it's better than my elven dagger. There we go. Get the hell out of here now that we've cleared the place out. If you let Cisro live, you can get him as a follower. However, I don't like Cisro, so fuck him. Would have been better if I had a black soul gem on me, because then I could trap his soul and use it for something useful. The dragon's gonna be here again. Or, still. I tell you, viewers, this dragon is persistent. Because Shadowmere will always be able to see you, and that's one of the things that throws me off whenever I'm trying to sneak. And why I just leave Shadowmere where it is. Because Shadowmere really throws you off. Like, who the hell is seeing me? Oh, hi Shadowmere, how you doing? But if you never, if you never need a horse, if you ever need a horse... Shadowmere will always be there after you fast travel. Says Rose dead. Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Tell you what, why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him. I don't really give a shit about you, Astrid. We need to go talk to Uncle Festus Rex. Who is usually down by an enchantment table. This time he's asleep. Yo, Uncle Fester. There you are. Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. You know, maybe I was wrong about you after all. Anyone who's smart enough to shut up and listen can't be all bad. Why, thank you. In my, uh, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook, uh, but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the Keep in Markarth. It would seem he's the cook. I believe so. 
Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Baran. Who the gourmet really is and where he can be found. Sounds like my pizza's here. Oh, and when you're done with Baran... I'll be back in just a second, viewers. Loose ends and all that. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? Never go wrong. There you are. Took your sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astrid told you about the gourmet, I hope. I was right. It's my plate, so. There you are. Give me a couple more seconds to. Dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Yeah, uh, Astrid oh. told you about the gourmet, I hope. There you are. I drizzled the dark garlic we dipping sauce on top of the pizza. Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Works best Astrid for me. Told you about the gourmet, All right. I hope. Where the hell am I? Sweet. I need to go this way because I want to see that little babette. What you got for sale? Take a look. Babette is a real good supply of ingredients, so you may want to keep that in mind. You can just buy up a bunch of crap from her. She's essentially a mobile alchemy shop. You'll know exactly where she is at all times instead of having to search around town for hours for that one elusive freaking alchemy shop. So we got this problem of the gourmets person to person to person. I already did. Okay, I'm confused. Why are you telling me to go back to freaking Uncle Festus? Uncle freaking Fester. I'm just trying to imagine. Uncle Festus, come on. There you are. Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. Skip to the dialogue. It seems to be a message from the gourmet, I believe. Oh. Next, you'll have to... Are you still... Huh. As... Oh. Now off with you. Thank you. I can continue. And be a new. And maybe catch a mew. Does he know? Mew is just the absolute most overpowered Pokemon in the entire Pokemon series. So damn OP.
Dragon still around. Damn it, dragon. All right, Mr. Dragon. I don't see you. You're definitely around because you're preventing me from fast traveling like a fucking dick. Ah! Definitely after this recording set is done, I'm going to come back here off screen and kill this fucking dragon because it's getting tiresome to not be able to fast travel. God damn it, dragon! It's off! I would just kill it now, but fighting dragons is a 5-10 minute thing on this difficulty. God damn it! Fucking dragon! So much dragon. I'm not seen by anything, so let me just fast travel! No, of course not! I did not just go crazy there. Fine. If you're gonna be like this, I'm just gonna run the way over there. And I don't even see it. It's not on my radar, it's not attacking me, it's nothing. It's doing fucking nothing. And yet it's still preventing me from fast traveling. Fuck you, Mr. Dragon. Thank you! Fuck. More cars. Well, that's something I never thought would taste good together. I've still got a bit of a taste of the malted milk duds in my mouth. Whoppers. And I just ate a slice of pizza. It's not actually all that bad.
Ducky. I'm a derg. Yo, bro to him. Yes, yes, for the hundredth time. I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a Richmond.